Let's take a look outside with the Kern River Valley. We see all of that smoke coming in and really getting trapped there for another day. This is Bear Valley Springs looking down into the South Valley and you see how much smog and smoke we have here trapped. For those of us trying to breathe in Bakersfield, we're at 74 right now, which is a nice temperature. Look at those 60s for Delano and Buttonwillow, but we aren't seeing these nice temperatures last for too much longer. Now that the sun is coming up over the next hour, these temperatures quickly surge back to those 80s. Up in the Kern River Valley, you have 67 for Wolford Heights and Isabella, 54 in Tatchby and Fraser Park for a morning low. People up there are surprised that it's so low, but that's actually seasonal. It's where you should be for this time of morning. It's just been so hot for so long that it feels odd to have seasonal morning lows. Later this afternoon, because we have high pressure on all sides, it means we have sinking stable air, and therefore we are getting much hotter later this afternoon. And there's no strong breeze coming on shore, so we can't push this smoke out of the way with all of the major fires burning around the state. Most of the smoke for us is coming down from the Ferguson fire. That's what's really plaguing Fresno and coming down and getting stuck for us. So as expected, the air quality warning was extended through tomorrow. I expect it to stay in effect at least through the weekend, probably through all of next week too. As we take a look at the excessive heat warning for our desert locations, that's been extended from all day today to now including all day tomorrow as well. And down to our south, a fire weather warning for the Angeles National Forest because they are so dry and hot and a bit breezy. We do have fire threats for our local mountains, not enough to need a warning, but enough to where we all need to stay very fire aware over the next couple weeks because we know how hot and dangerously dry it is out there. And I mean hot. Yesterday came in at 99, but the 100s coming back today. 104, our hottest tomorrow. And we're staying right around that 100 to 101 degree mark for several days in a row heading into next week. Hopefully by next Friday we can break it, but even that 99 is above average for this time of year. Kern River Valley 100s the next couple afternoons, and then you see a drop coming this weekend. Some clouds coming in with the remnants of Hurricanes John and Hurricane Hector. By then they're not hurricanes, and it's just remnant moisture coming through in the form of clouds, dropping temperatures a few degrees, bumping that humidity level up. But because we've been so hot and dry for so long, it evaporates most of the rain trying to fall out of those clouds. Could be a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms, though.